Hey guys, it is Christine. Welcome to my channel and to another video. Um, I'm going to apologize in advance. I usually turn off all of my like phones and devices and stuff like the sounds, but I'm actually waiting for a phone call, so I can't do that right now. So if you hear dinging and blinging in the background, I'm sorry. It's the emails and all the people and all that. Um, but yeah. Anyway, that's just a little side note. Today's video, I'm going to be doing a comparison of math with confidence and simply good and beautiful math. So if that interests you, keep watching. If you're new here, I am a homeschooling mom to three kids. I live in New Zealand. I'm a second generation homeschooler and I love to share homeschool content with you guys. So. Today's video, I'm doing a comparison of two very popular curriculums and two curriculums that we have used. I don't have the physical copy of Simply Good and Beautiful Math with me right now because it's in storage. I do plan on digging it up so I can film some like flip throughs for this video. So um, that'll be coming soon. But I've got first grade math with confidence. We're currently using first grade and second grade and about to move on to third grade. Um, and we've been using that since the beginning of this year. So the about six months for us now, which is insane. Well, technically it's not six months. It's half our school year. We started in February. Uh, but we've been using that since the beginning of our academic year. But previous to that, we used Simply Good and Beautiful Math exclusively. Um, and I had used that with both my son, my eldest son, and my daughter. And we had a really good experience with it, but it was just time for change. I've done a video on why we changed, which I will leave linked for you. Here, but these are two very popular curriculums at the moment, and I thought with everyone buying stuff now for the new homeschool year um, in the States and elsewhere, but I'm like talking to a lot of you in the States, which is why I'm referring to this, um, I thought it was a good time to do this video because I've been thinking through it, and I've actually written a whole blog post about this, which will probably go live before this video goes live. So these two curriculums have both sort of come to the forefront in recent years. They're very, very popular. You'll see a lot about them on social media. Math with Confidence, more recently, there are only four levels out of this so far. So they've got from grades K through to grade three is the most recent release. The Good and the Beautiful Math, I think they've got up until level six. So from, grade, from level K through level six, and they plan to bring seven and eight out in the future. Um, they had a math curriculum out for years before that and then they did a complete overhaul of it um i think it was two years ago now um and renamed it simply good and beautiful math um so we did use the old version and then we've used the newer version um and yeah so i feel like i can give you a pretty good comparison between the two so let's talk about the two different curriculums what do they come with uh, simply good and beautiful math you will have for the first four levels, so from level K through level three, comes with a workbook and it comes with a um, math manipulatives box. And it is meant to be taught by the parent. Uh, math with confidence, obviously there's only four grades out so far, comes with a workbook or two workbooks, which I'll talk about later, uh, and a teacher's guide. It does not come with a math manipul manipulatives box, but you are required to use manipulatives and it will, it gives you like a whole list of what you require. It does have some like um, printable things that you can use to make the manipulatives yourself or you can just purchase things. I think Rainbow Resource might do a manipulatives box to go along with it. So don't quote me on that, but I think that's correct. Um, Simply Good and Beautiful Math, their teacher's guide is incorporated within the workbook. So it's all in one. You don't have a separate teacher's guide. Simply Good and Beautiful Math is beautiful, like really beautiful. They have stunning imagery. Um, it's just a really beautiful curriculum. Uh, math with Confidence, I still think it's fun and colorful. Not the teacher's guide. The teacher's guide's all black and white, um, but that doesn't matter because your child's not using that. The actual workbook still got color. It's just definitely very simplified and it works differently to the good and the beautiful. So I think like we'll talk about how it works differently and how it's taught from, but let's just talk about the style of teaching because they are very different in style. Simply good and beautiful math is a spiral method of teaching. And that basically means that they'll teach multiple concepts in a week 
And then there's like constant review. Like it constantly goes back to things. It might teach a little bit about a concept and then a few weeks later you'll revisit that concept and add on to it. Um, and it does that with several things all at once. Uh, math with confidence is, I want to say, I don't want to say it's like purely one or the other. It is a mastery based curriculum, strictly speaking, I guess, but there's also spiral learning that happens and that's because there's constant review of other concepts and I'll, I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute. So, um, but if you were to split the two, definitely simply good and beautiful math is spiral and whereas math with confidence is far more mastery based than it is spiral. So those are the two main differences I would say between the math curriculums. Um, and what works, what, like one isn't necessarily better than the other. It depends on your child and how they learn best. So that's just something to consider. So the way that they're different, because a lot of people ask like, oh, math with confidence looks super simple and easy. I would argue that it is just different. It's not, sometimes it might be easier for some kids it, it, because it's such a unique thing for each child. It's hard to say it's, you know, above or behind. Math with confidence tends to go deep rather than wide, whereas Simply Good and the Beautiful really covers a lot of topics, but it doesn't necessarily go as deep, okay? So I hope that makes a bit more sense. So the the other thing is people often look at the workbook from Math with Confidence and go, oh, that looks way too easy. But that's, you're, you're not getting an accurate picture if you're only looking at the workbook because the workbook is not where the bulk of the learning happens with Math with Confidence. So now let's talk about like, how the actual teaching goes. So with Simply Good and Beautiful Math, you're gonna open up the workbook. It's open and go. You've got your math manipulatives box for the younger years. The older years, so from uh, level four and up, there are instructional videos. So you are not required to teach the lesson to your child. They can watch a video. You can teach a lesson to your child. There is that option if you don't wanna use videos, but um, there, there is a video. So that is how that goes. There is a lesson that is taught. You open the book, you teach from the book with your child sitting there. They then have like some practice problems and then there is review. And the review is meant to be done independently except for like maybe level K. I don't, I think level K is all just like together. There's not necessarily a separate review page. Um, and so that is how you teach that. With Math with Confidence, you have the teacher's guide. And so the teacher's guide in here is where you do all your teaching from. I've done a flip through of this, so I'm not gonna go through the inside of this a lot, but you would flip through here to the lesson of the day and you teach from this using the math manipulatives. Then you go to the workbook and your child does some practice problems from the lesson that they've just learned. And then they have a page of review. So the layout is similar it's actually very similar layout in the sense that the, the um, sequencing of the lessons, but the actual books and everything are very different. And so, um, yeah, it's, it's going to look different. Simply Good and the Beautiful Math also uses a lot more um, storytelling in their problems, whereas Math with Confidence doesn't. They do, however, both draw on um, from real life experiences and things such as that. So, um, yeah, that's just something to be aware of. So what I say about the sequencing of the lessons being similar, uh, both curriculums start out with an optional review section at the beginning. Math with Confidence calls it their optional warm up. Um, I don't know specifically what Simply Good and Beautiful calls it, but it's like, it's in like a little box and it's got these concepts that you, if your child needs it and requires it, you can go over and review those things. You then go into the lesson portion. Both of them are the same in that sense. You both go through a lesson. And then there are practice problems, which your child could do independently, maybe with a little assistance from you. And then there's a review section, which goes over previously taught concepts. And both curriculums are the same in that sense. As far as the format format and the availability of them, uh, Simply Good and the Beautiful Mat, Simply Good and Beautiful Mat is found on goodandbeautiful.com. Um, you can buy the printed copies there and the math manipulative boxes and everything from them. Um, and they vary in cost depending on which level you're purchasing. However, you can get the PDF versions of all of the levels for free to download and print at home, which is a pretty unique thing and pretty incredible. That is how we did it when we were using the curriculum. 
and it worked it was amazing like it saved us so much money and it's really you know great high quality curriculum uh, math with confidence does not have a free option however they are very affordable they do it does depend on which level you're purchasing as to what the price is um, this is available on amazon rainbow resource the well-trained mind is where i got mine it might be available from other places but those are the three that i can think of off the top of my head and you can get the printed copy um or you can get the pdf version uh well-trained mind often has 40 percent off and so you can get it for a really good deal i think i just paid like 48 us dollars for their new grade three for my son and that was discounted by 48 by 40 percent so really good deal on that and the best thing about the pdf is now that i bought it i can just print it out for my next child when they're ready to move up to that level so i'm only having to pay for it once whereas if you get the printed version you are going to have to buy the well you can put them in like um page protectors and just use like a marker pen and do it that way um but you're probably good. It's more of a consumable. You will not have to repurchase the teacher's guide though. You can just keep the original teacher's guide and repurchase the workbooks. So that's something to be aware of. Um, okay, how it's broken down. So let's talk about lessons. Both of these have four day weeks, but Math with Confidence has an optional fifth lesson in every week and it's what they call an enrichment lesson so it's certainly not something you have to do with your child but if they need more practice or you just want to add it in you can do that um whereas the good and the beautiful they do say to take it at your own pace and everything but it is set up to be done about four days a week um a lesson a day so they're both similar in that sense however math with confidence only has 34 weeks of lessons in it for uh, grades K through two. Grade three is different. I'm going to talk about that in a second. Simply Good and Beautiful Math has, I think, 120 lessons in it. So I'm not sure how much. I think that's 30 weeks worth. So it's actually this. Basically, both of them have enough, there's enough wriggle room there to be able to take breaks or to like focus on areas that your child needs more work in. I think that's really helpful. Um, and not to just be rushing through things. Simply Good and Beautiful Math does have assessments, so they're not labeled as tests, and they're not graded. You could grade them if you wanted to, but they have assessments at the end of each unit, and it is broken down into units um, where you can see where your child is doing well and where they might need more practice. Math with Confidence has checkpoints at the end of each unit, and so it's not an assessment per se where they're like writing anything, but it's for you as the parent to know the things that your child needs to know, and if they don't know those things, then there are helpful tips for practicing and reviewing and just getting stronger with them. So um, again, that's something to be aware of. What I do like about Math with Confidence is even though it's a mastery, like mostly mastery based, it's not like a traditional mastery curriculum where they like focus on one thing and then they never go back to it again. It does still build upon concepts previously taught and it does spiral back to them in their review. So that's really good because kids do forget, you know, they need to practice. So, um, those are the differences as far as like scheduling and everything. Now the new grade three that just was released um, from Math with Confidence is um, different. So they don't have the same weekly, it's not, I don't think it's broken up into weeks per se, it's broken up into units. And so you're deciding more about how often you're gonna teach and how much um, your child needs to get through. Um, and I think that can be helpful, you know. It, it's still a guideline. There's still units there, um, and there's really helpful suggestions, but um, it's more up to you. I think that pretty much sums up all the points I wanted to cover. If you do have any questions about the two curriculums, feel free to leave them down in the comments below because I'm sure I would have missed things, but um, I just think like with time to like purchase and look for things, um, it's really good to know. The differences between the two and I will try and remember to link the blog post because it goes into more depth um, I'll try and remember to link that down below for you and you can check that out if you want to and I hope you found it helpful and I'll see you in my next video bye bye what if the world had more of your smile what if the wind could spread your love